Hello guys, thank you so much for joining. Spring is here and it's time for one of my favorite recipes, which is deviled eggs. I can eat these as a main course or a side dish. Either way, they are delicious and right on time. Stay tuned. Right, so I have here to see two, four, six, eight eggs that are about to come to a boil soon. These will make 16 deviled eggs. Um, so we're gonna wait for these to boil. Once they boil, I'll let them continue on high heat for two minutes. And then I'm gonna turn off the heat, cover these and let them sit for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, you see that my eggs have come to a rapid boil here. So I'm gonna let them boil for, like I said, two, maybe three minutes. Then I'm gonna remove these from the heat cover with my um, cover here and let them sit for 10 to 12 minutes. And then um, we'll go ahead and place them in cool water. I'll rinse them several times in cold water and um, just let them sit for about 10 minutes before we prepare. All right, guys, I have placed the boiled eggs in a pot of cold water now. They have been sitting here, I would say, about 10 to 15 minutes. So what I'll do now is drain the water and I will peel the eggs. And then you'll see that I will cut them in half and prep them for the stuffing. Well, guys, I told you at first that I was starting with um, 16 eggs. We are now down to 12. <laughs> one, my fiance just wanted to eat and one just didn't crack properly. So this is plenty for us for um, a side dish for our dinner. So this is what we're gonna work with. So I'm gonna take here just the egg and I'm just gonna cut this in half. And you see this, the, the yolk here just comes apart. So I'm just gonna kinda just push that off into the bowl. I'm gonna do that for each egg. Now this one didn't, so I'm just going to kind of scoop that one out. Same with this. Sometimes I just squeeze it and it comes right on out. And I'm going to transfer my eggs to an egg, a deviled egg holder. And I'll show you that here shortly. But this is just the first part. And I'll show you what we're going to do here to uh, mix up the filling. Right, so I've transferred my eggs to my deviled egg tray and I'm going to just um, push, set these aside, excuse me. And now what I have is I'm going to take a fork and I'm just kind of going to smash the egg yolk. I want to do that before I add any ingredients. I'm going to do this very well. Just make sure they're very crumbly. I cannot wait to eat my deviled eggs tonight with dinner. <laughs> I love these things, guys, especially in the spring. I mean, it's such a refreshing, to me, snack, even. I can just, I promise you, I would have these sometimes in the morning and a cup of coffee and go with my day. It was perfect. I go through so many eggs a lot of times in the summer, so just because I love deviled eggs and I like boiled eggs too. So, okay, I have everything here smashed and I'm gonna start adding my ingredients here. I am gonna add a dash, just a little bit of salt. Just a little, a little bit of pepper. Okay, I do not measure guys. So I'm just going to add, and I'm just using regular mess, uh, mustard. Some people like the, um, what is that called? I can't think of it. But you know, the, the fancy kind of mustard. I just use regular mustard, okay, yellow mustard. And I'm just going to add a little bit in. I would say maybe a half of a teaspoon. 
and then my favorite of all times mayonnaise dukes this is the best in my opinion i mean by far of any brand that i have tried this is the best especially for my deviled eggs and any kind of sandwich so i'm going to add in about two table teaspoons excuse me just just to see and i'll i'll see if i need more but i'm just going to whip this up first and just kind of you know give it a little taste and then of course sweet relish and i'm going to add probably one teaspoon well, I'm going to go ahead and add two. I love this. And my fiance loves relish. So, And then, for me, I like to add a little bit, and I, say, I mean a tad, of sugar. I just love this for my recipe. Okay, so I am going to mix this up. And, of course, it's going to get really thick. Now, I've heard of some people adding uh, even butter to deviled eggs. Um, I had a friend of mine tell me that was delicious, but maybe I'll try that one time, but this is just my recipe that I absolutely love. The consistency here looks perfect. I'm gonna give this a little taste. And see if I need to add a little bit of, you know, more salt or pepper. It looks like I'm going to need to add a little bit more relish, though, I can tell you right now. Mmm. This is so good. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more relish. Just a little. This is perfect, guys. Oh, it tastes so good. No more salt or pepper is needed. You can always add more pepper if you like, but this is perfect. All right, we have this all well combined. So what I'm gonna do now, I have my little spatula here, and I'm gonna transfer this to just a Ziploc bag so I can get ready to devil the eggs. It just makes it easier for me. I know I used to just uh, take a spoon <laughs> and just drop it in. I'm just throwing it in here and just drop it in the eggs, you know, but I think this is a lot more easier, less messiness. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw this in here, guys, then I'll show you next here, and we'll start filling up these pretty babies. All right. I think we get, I don't like to waste anything, so we're getting this buddy clean. It's almost like brownie mix to me. I can just eat this, I promise you, with my fingers. <laughs> This is almost like icing to me. So what I'm gonna do here, hopefully you can see this, is just take my utility scissors here and I'm just gonna cut just the corner off of this bag. Okay, and then we're gonna get ready to fill these babies. Okay. And hopefully you can see this. All right, we're just gonna simply fill these beauties here. And then we'll have just one more step. I want to make sure I have enough for each egg. So I don't want to just be too um, too generous <laughs> to each egg. I'll just go back and, and fill those up, use everything up once I have completely gone around to each egg. And the last one, I think we could squeeze this out of here. Oops. Mmm, that's yummy. I made a mess here. Well, here these beauties are, guys. And last but not least, we're going to add paprika. And I love this. Just add just as much as you'd like. It doesn't take a lot at all. Go back over them a little bit more. <laughs> I love my deviled eggs, guys. I'm so excited. All right, guys, and that is it for this recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll try these. They're very easy, just a basic recipe. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. 
please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and feel free to share. Um, until next time, I hope you have a great day, and thank you again. Be blessed.